beautiful island of Anguilla is located just across the bay from St. Martin. Many fishermen consider it to be a hidden gem because it's not uncommon to hook up with a big blue marlin on any given day. Our home base for the week is the five-star Cuisinart Resort. This island is home to friendly people, amazing culinary delights, and the best boat builders in the Caribbean. But my favorite part of the day is watching the sunset from the iconic Banky Banks Bar located right on the beach. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. It's hard not to accept an offer when your friends call you and say, hey, we're flying private and we're going to Anguilla to shoot a show. And the fact that I'm about to drive onto the tarmac is mind boggling. It's, I'm kind of blown away right now. I feel like I'm at the starting gate at a big race. And the plane's out there. It's a big boy too, it's the real deal. What's up, Serge? Brothers, Sergio and Julian are very good friends of mine. Good to see you. And we've had our share of amazing times together. But this opportunity to film on the island of Anguilla with the accommodations of the award-winning Cuisinart Resort will definitely be a five-star experience. Oh, you guys are gonna have so much fun. Oh, we're excited, we're excited. Yay. Yeah. So she'll drive your car back. Yeah. Ever since I've owned my 64 Lincoln Continental convertible, nobody has ever driven it besides me. But I have all the faith in the world that Susie will get it home safely. Oh, I'm going straight home. This is my very first time flying in a G5 jet, which seats 15 passengers very comfortably. This jet travels at 500 to 600 miles per hour. Needless to say, we got to Anguilla in the blink of an eye. This is pretty neat. You can start to see the golf course. Uh huh. Go to the left, that's the Cuisinart Resort. Wow. Ooh, that was smooth. We made it to Anguilla. Thank you, guys. We stepped off the plane. Everything good? Super excited because the captain and crew were ready and waiting to take us fishing. A 54-foot hatteras from the neighboring island of St. Martin was holding its position approximately 100 yards off the beach. The folks at the Cuisinart Resort went out of their way by having an inflatable dinghy on standby directly behind the resort to shuttle us out to the sport fish called the Follow Me. We had about an hour and a half run to the fishing grounds in very sloppy seas. Joining us on this fishing expedition was Sergio and Julian's younger brother, Zen. All right, Zen, you can probably fight this handing up. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. He's coming right at us. There you go. It's a mini Mahi. All right. Keep whining, keep whining. Let me get a leader and you're going to spread the line out on the reel. Let me, let me get a tip. Oh, okay. Here we go. Ready? Woo! Hey, we nice. got a winner! Nice this guy knows how to hold a fish. Look at that! Nice. <laughs> Whoa, big wave. Up next was Julian, who was completely new to the world of fishing and is getting a quick lesson on trying to find his sea legs. Simultaneously, Sergio lands his first prized fish of the trip. Hey, dude! When your bait is bigger than your fish you just got. <laughs> this water is beautiful. He's just, right now, he's just coasting in the waves. There, I see him. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, big fish. Nice one, kind of amazing, man. This is nautical. We ran all this way in this nasty water, and the second we got here, we're hooked up. You're doing great. You're almost there, baby. Yeah, I'm going to gap that sucker. Pounder! Oh, I did it! Hey! That was 
is a bull! Woo! God, that's a nice fish, dude. Congratulations, it's about 22 pounds maybe. Look at that. The boys are in town. In Anguilla. There you go. Keep going, just keep it tight. Got a nice one on, about 12 pounder. As Sergio stealthily crab walks to the corner, I continue to be impressed by the brother's performance in less than ideal conditions. This one's in the boat. That must be all that working out. And you never want that tail to hit you. <laughs> For the next 20 minutes, we continued to load up on Mahi Mahi. But with plenty in the Yeti cooler, we decided to head to another spot in search of a different species. Guys, we're gonna wrap it up with this one and go about three miles to the next spot. These guys have it all figured out. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Citizen, better starts now. Invincible, when you're serious. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. We are 40 miles off the coast of Anguilla, heading towards an area that is known to hold Wahoo. All right, Julian's on. This next spot does not disappoint. Yeah, keep reeling. What is Julian gonna catch now? He got a little baby Wahoo. Julian! The Wahoo Slayer, wow! Nice job. Sashimi. Got him on, got him on. Start winding, save tides. Got a little Wahoo coming in. Oh, yeah! Is that, is that your first Wahoo? Uh, I think so. I love it. Double up, Serge. Serge, what'd you get? Nice cow. Oh, nice, oh yeah, nice one. Look at all the mahi, guys. He's gonna jump right now. Oh! There's a lot of fish around here, guys. Oh, there's a nice one there. Oh yeah, another nice one. Oh! That's a beauty. Nice job. Woo! Yeah, you got a big one? Yeah. Oh man, I want to get another bait on here. Fish are everywhere. It's so nice to see everyone settled in and confident behind the rod. These were arduous conditions to say the least. Nice. These are these are big. Woo! All right, we're in the hot spot, guys. There's a lot of fish here. Some big ones too, huh? Oh, he just got bit. I think I have a wahoo, and I haven't caught a wahoo yet in Anguilla, so it'd be kind of cool to see it. My first thing, wheel and wahoo. Look at the colors on that thing. That is a nice fish box. Put him out one more time and maybe we get out of here, huh? <laughs> You're fighting like a champ. Who needs a rowing machine when you got this? We got a professional rower right here, this guy. I skipped on the workout today. <laughs> nice and smooth, smooth on the power up. Wine. Okay, start winding that slack up. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo, keep it showing, man. I love that fish. Dude! The captain and crew on the Follow Me truly made it an epic day for the brothers and I. If it was not for our dinner reservations, I'd be out there until the sunset. Listen, we got such a cooler full of mahi and wahoo. I said we cook them up as soon as we get back. Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Despite the rough seas and continuous fish battles, we all came back feeling energetic and excited about our amazing day out on the water. We left the majority of the fish behind for the captain and crew aboard the Follow Me and still had enough to make our first night's dinner in Anguilla very memorable. I say we grab one of the wahoo, we make some sashimi. It's amazing that it still has stripes. Usually they just turn gray, right, when they're dead. All right, let's cut this one up and uh, I'll bring it to the restaurant and we'll see you guys there in a little bit. Sound good? All right. Let's break. Good job, guys. Look at this kitchen. This is nice. Hey, Francisco. Hi, Peter. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. From your fish that you got yeah. today, we 
did some tiro dito, South American ceviche. That looks so good. I mean, the yeah. fact that you have dill on it, that's next level. I don't uh, even, yeah. I never Actually, seen this that. dill is from our hotel. So you grow the dill, I catch the fish. And we and did this beautiful dish, yes. Nice. Yeah. So with the mahi mahi, we did some ceviche with uh, jalapeno, some uh, orange, and some avocado. Yeah. That looks really good. And what do you put, lemon or lime or what? Lemon, lime, and the oranges. Oh, oranges too, okay. Yeah, That's something people don't know about. Yeah. I remember that mahi, that exact one. He was bigger though when I caught him. We took care of it. <laughs> yeah. To go together with that, we have some okay. alumi, some Greek cheese. Okay. Uh, we have some goat cheese with vinaigrette and some caramelized walnuts, some hummus smoked paprika and the olive oil. Beautiful. Some uh, brizola and some pastrami. And I'm starving. All I had today was like a little wrap on the boat because it was so rough. Like, yeah, I better not eat. Good. Where are you from? I'm from Portugal. I bet your food's going to be really good. Yeah, I hope so. I All hope right. you enjoy. To our new favorite friend. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. We love it. Look at that. Under, over, over, under. <laughs> this is overdone. Until someone's wine glass breaks. Just keep going. This four-course family-style meal is the perfect ending to an incredible day of fishing and the beginning to a magnificent trip. Everything is prepped to perfection, and when you're with good people and great friends, it takes it to a whole new level. Mercury, go boldly. Fishing chaos. Fish smarter, not harder. Low tea center. Reinventing men's health care. Yeti, built for the wild. The elegant Cuisinart Golf Resort and Spa is a fantasy getaway. The suites and villas offer spacious accommodations overlooking beautiful lush grounds, white sandy beaches, and the turquoise waters of Rendezvous Bay. The property offers diverse activities from the pool, golf course, spa, dining, tennis, and even a kid's splash pad. There's something for everyone. Today on the island, there's a very special annual festival. So let's go check it out. At the eastern end of Anguilla, in the town of Island Harbor, they are celebrating everything ocean. Aptly named Festival Del Mar. For those that really want to experience the Anguillan culture and mingle amongst the locals, this is the place to do it. There's everything from live music, local delicacies, and of course, the exhilarating annual sailboat race around the island. How you doing, I'm Peter. Good, man, good. Nice good. to meet you, man. He is the official uh, sponsor of this race. Oh, really? Dad, all right. This is an honor of my dad. He was a uh, one of old uh, captain. Okay. He started from, you know, it was like year big, and he died uh, like 10 years ago. Oh, I'm sorry, so man. So we put this in the memory of him, and it's been very successful. Oh, that's amazing. Um, so all these boats are obviously handmade? Yeah, they're all handmade. This guy, he built his own. Um, like, what are the size ranges? The A, the A class is 28 feet. Yeah. The B class is 23. I think I have to step on a boat. You can step on the best boat in Angola. Is that the best yeah. one? Stand, don't fall over. Oh, I don't fall. Oh, wow. 3,000 pounds? Yeah. Dude, that's a lot of lead. That's 150? Yeah. Man, you're strong. All right, well, good luck in the race. I'll be rooting for you. Some Padre Azul on ice with a lime. Thank you. This is a real deal shot right here. He's an Angolian shot. This is fun, man. I appreciate it. With this wide variety of food options, including Rastafarian vegan selections, I can't help but notice that the most popular food is the spiny lobster. What we got in here, guys? Lobster. Woo! Uh oh, here we go. Oh my God! Look at the size of those things. Whoa! That's the real deal, Holyfield. Look at that. When you gotta stretch your fingers out, you don't even know. Look at that thing. Wow. If one escapes, I'm gonna get it for you guys. I'm running for it. Beautiful. Nice job, guys. Here we go. Hey guys, anybody ever tell you a nice sack? I smell lobster cooking. Definitely. Look at this guy still alive. Look at this guy's twitching. Now see when the lobsters alive. Yeah. And your bottom down. 
when you, when you took the bellies out, the yeah. season out, you see the flesh out there. Yeah. The jump. I love the way you say that, bust it down. Bust it down. Yeah. And bust it down. Yeah. Hey guys, everybody hashtag, bust it down. Bust it down. <laughs> <laughs> For you, is there a little garlic salt? Yeah. That's what I use. Yeah. Garlic salt and a little butter. Okay, done. Why don't we get six lobster with a little scalloped potatoes? And then we'll get this, this young man fish. This guy eats too many lobsters. He's turning into a lobster. And just as I received the six orders of lobster for my team and I, I find myself being interviewed for an Anguillan radio show. Welcome to Anguilla. Thank you very much. We're excited to be filming here, catching wahoo, mahi, marlin, and now we're eating lobster at the seafood festival. I mean, what could be better? That's the best lobster I've ever had. I'm not kidding. I've eaten a lot of spiny lobster in my life. I've caught millions of them, but that right there is a real deal. Salt Life sunglasses. See clearly. Celdration. Good for you, good for our planet. Celdration is hydration defined. Invincible. When you're serious. Mercury. Go boldly. We wake up more determined than ever to catch a big fish. But we have one issue. It's so windy that our chase boat called it quits. Our chase boat has decided to go home yep. because it's too windy. 50 miles offshore and this wind is blowing like 25 right now. Yep. Hey, it looks like a nice day to go fishing. Really calm. Concerned about the conditions, I went up to the bridge to confer with the captain. Good morning. Good morning. It's, uh, looks like it's blowing like 25 today, huh? <laughs> right? Yeah. No big deal. No, it's okay. While Zen stayed on land training for his next rowing competition, Sergio and Julian joined me for the final day in search of a beast. And with a quick touch of the screen, we had our waypoint plugged in and we were off to the races. Today, our expectations, adrenaline levels, and drags are all set to high. When you go to 31 pounds of drag, that's the real deal. You don't want to be standing up. This is when you go, go into the bucket seat here. This is legit fishing. Let's do this. Let's do this. Have a seat. He's in the chair. That's a nice spot. You got a wine, bro. All right. Come on, Julian. You getting tired yet? Nope. He's keeping you in gear, helping you out, because the fish is swimming ass. What do you think it is? Whatever it is, it's big. Hey, look at that. You got a wahoo. You always said that you wanted to have fresh caught right off the boat. Are you guys ready for this? Ready to go. I've been waiting my whole life for this. See this? He's been waiting his whole life for this. So I'm going to cut you just a tiny piece. That's fresh meat right there, folks. I almost feel bad. I'm going to cut off that little piece there to make it nice and easy. Take a piece and go for it. Cheers, man. Cheers. Pretty good. Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go one more, yeah. One more. Why not? How about we uh, put the wahoo on ice, put some ballyhoo out, and see if we can catch some mahi. Sounds good. All right. Hey, he's getting a bite right there. All right, Serge, you're up, buddy. Okay, so pump up and then wind down. Stay tight. Good job. Keep it going, boy. You're doing great. <laughs> wind faster, faster, faster. He's coming at you. There he is. There we go. I saw a bullseye, it was right in the center. <laughs> Typically you want to gap them in the head area. Yeah. Never right in the center like I did, but I was desperate. <laughs> so I, you call that the bullseye, you just go, oh! Come here, Julian, stick your finger in that hole. Look at that, look, he's a doctor. He stopped the bleeding. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby, yeah! Oh. Look how big he is. Look at the reel. All right, here we go. We're backing down now, ready? Let's try getting in line. Turn my chair, turn my chair. Patience pays, right? Yeah. Never surrender. God, it feels good to be on a big fish. Julian, you're gonna when you see this thing close. I can't wait to see it. Peter Miller in action. <laughs> there it is, there's the leader, guys. Fish is on the leader, 30 feet away. Nice and easy. Guys, look at the fish. How big? 300. 300 pounds. Watch oh your head. Oh my god. Holy shit, my god. 
The ultimate goal of any fishing trip is to catch a prize fish. A blue marlin with its incredible power and aggressive behavior is exactly that fish. Over 300 pounds with guys that have never seen anything remotely close to a fish of this size. It's truly an unforgettable experience. We removed the lure and released the powerful marlin unharmed. As we ran back to the Cuisinart Resort, I couldn't help but think of how proud I was of Julian and Sergio's performance in the rough and at times dangerous seas. For additional content and social media, please visit us at unchartedwaterstv.com.